The Netherlands is a very interesting country because uh, it's already an old saying, uh, God created the world but the Dutch did create Holland. In the past we had a big disaster in 1953 where the southern part, the southern west part of Holland was flooded and many people were killed and then they, the government made a promise to uh, protect the Dutch people more or less forever and then they created the Delta Works and this knowledge was being exported throughout the whole world as being Dutch people having a lot of experience with uh, protecting the country against water. We are the lowest part of the mainland at the end of all the rivers to the North Sea and the Wallenzee and different waters. So we have to manage the water the method so that the water can go out, like this river here goes out into the Markermeer. Then you have two locks and you go to the IJsselmeer. Then you have another two locks and you go into the North Sea. And it all has to be managed. The city of Amsterdam is very important to be an example of using those lock gates. And we do have the main reason to protect our country against the high waters. No doors at all. All the water go in there, but it, it will be it will be a disaster because the water from the ice lake and the North Sea is very different and it's salt. So we don't want the salt into the inland. I have to uh, let in the sailing boat now, just a second. <laughs> The city of Amsterdam needs a very flat level in the, in the city itself and in order to uh, get the canals at the right levels they are divided in parts and when you go from the higher part to a lower part then you need a, a lock. We have a, a type of lock doors you see they can open and close and in the bottom they have a few valves they can open up so that the water goes through and then you have the same level and then the doors open or close with the same pressure on both sides, so it's better for the doors. If we look at Amsterdam, we have, I do believe, 200 sets of lock gates, which are mainly out of wood, but you can imagine you also can produce those lock gates in, in steel or even nowadays in plastics which we of course very much against it because we love our wood and we do also believe that the timber is the best option to use in the carbon dioxide situation. Secondly, on top of course, it's uh, bio-based and on top uh, circular. This one is from 1976. That's pretty okay. Uh, this one is in use all the time, so if you use it, that's good for the wood. And I think I'm going to use the door again because that one is now ready. Open the exit door now. From uh, ringing to open and ringing to close is three minutes. And if you're waiting and if you want to go to your work or school, uh, three minutes is very long time. <laughs> que vous avez vu dehors, c'est complètement en azobé. Ici, par exemple, vous allez voir les ténons. Moi, je vais utiliser ça comme support de fond. Je vais commencer à dessiner tous les, les éléments, les tourillons, les poutres, tout ça ensemble. Et puis, sur base de ça, quand ce serait fini, on envoie les fichiers vers les machines que vous avez vu dehors. C'est comme ça que nous travaillons. Je suis né au Congo Kinshasa, la République démocratique du Congo. Avant, dans mon lieu de naissance au port de Matadi, je voyais les grumes passer, mais personne ne m'avait expliqué l'essence de bois qui transitait par le port de Matadi. Mais franchement, quand je suis arrivé ici, Euh, C'est ici où j'ai compris 
la valeur du bois en tant que matériau de construction. Et pour moi, c'est vraiment intéressant. The log gates are mainly produced out of the timber species Azobe. Uh, the botanical name is Lophira alata. The Germans called it Bongossi, the English called it Eki. So we have three names for the same species, which we use all over the world, but especially in Amsterdam, it's mainly out of Azobe. Le bois Azobe, moi au Congo, je ne connais pas, je n'ai jamais vu. Aujourd'hui, je sais quelle est la valeur du bois tropical parce que non seulement que je vois les grumes, mais je vois le produit final. We know the way to saw it, plane it and, and fabricate it into a, a very nice log gate. And that's a process why I started with the Dutch waterways in the 1950s or so. And now we're here and we are making 25 sets of gates a year with this timber and knowing that it's from a, a sustainable uh, forest it's very nice because you, you know that there is no negative impact on the forest. Nous sommes actuellement dans le bassin du Congo. C'est le deuxième réservoir en termes de biodiversité dans le monde après le bassin de l'Amazonie. Donc il s'agit d'une forêt très riche dans laquelle vivent des animaux et qui jouent des services importants pour la biodiversité, la faune environnementale et sociale. Pour moi, la forêt, c'est la vie. Et dans cette vie, il y a le spirituel et il y a le physique parce qu'à la forêt, on retrouve tout. Et j'ai cette passion. En fait, sur notre forêt, en termes de richesse de la biodiversité, nous avons 340 espèces d'arbres dans la forêt. Nous n'en prélevons que 15. Ensuite, par hectare, quand nous comptons les arbres, on a une moyenne de 380 arbres par hectare. Et nous n'en prélevons que deux. Donc il s'agit de prélever deux arbres sur les 380 arbres tous les 25 ans. Être exploitant forestier n'est pas obligé d'être un déforesteur. Il suffit de prendre les gens, les bois et les prélever correctement pour faire en sorte qu'à la prochaine rotation, nous réussissons de refaire la même production. L'objectif est de laisser les plantes régénérer correctement. We do source FSC certified wood for two reasons. Basically, it's good for the forest. Uh, you have those social, cultural aspects, you have the ecological aspects, which are audited. So you protect the forest more, and also you're looking after people living in the forest. So you do have uh, a responsible production. We use tropical timber for several reasons. It's available in, in big sizes, sizes you need to get the gates ready. It is very strong, so you need less material to have the same strength. And it is durable. Uh, for example, an oak gate has a lifetime expectation of 15, 20 years maybe. And when you go to tropical hardwood, you can keep it with good maintenance, go up to 50 years. 
On a travaillé un projet dans les environs de Rotterdam, un canal. Et ce canal était conçu complètement en bois azobé vers les années il y a 40 ans, 50 ans passés. Et on devrait rénover ce canal. On a dû remonter tous les bois qui étaient dans le fond, qu'on a placé là-bas 40 ans passés. Ils étaient encore intacts comme si c'était hier qu'on l'avait placé là-bas. Et ça pour moi c'était fantastique de découvrir ça. Le même bois ici peut être réutilisé deux, trois fois quand ici euh, cette écluse en fin de vie peut encore être repris, utilisé dans d'autres usages. What I really like about using Eki is that uh, you know that it comes from a sustainable uh, forest. And now that I know that the forest is treated well, I can be very eased in my mind to use this fantastic material to make fantastic aids. I do believe that Holland has, a, has an important role in order to build more in the tropical hardwoods and be a part of the protection of the forest in the Congo Basin. The climate is changing, everybody knows. So we have uh, higher waters, uh, lower levels than before. And what will come, uh, nobody knows. But what we do know is that we have to have log gates in the future. We have to replace log gates. And what better material can be used than a natural growing material? Mm -hmm. 